Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you guys episode number 40 of this trading series. And as you guys can see up on screen, we're on 58,000 coins. And uh, this trading was done during the Arsenal and Bayern Munich game. So all this trading is from Thursday and I think a little bit on Friday. So in this episode, guys, we're going to have, uh, I think, three techniques. Well, one of them is going to be investing into consumables. Another one is going to be my mirror method. And then the final method is going to be um, trading the... I think the St. Patrick's Day for the St. Patrick's Day Cup, so the Irish players. So as you guys can see here, I just picked up a few things. Uh, I think from the last episode, we were on 70, 77k. So I've spent around 20,000 coins, approximately. I think 24,000 coins. And what I've done, guys, for the consumable method is picked up loads of fitness cards and formation, fitness cards and contracts, sorry, for 150 during the happy hour. And I will tweet them out. If you guys have me on Twitter, then uh, you guys can follow me there. Otherwise, what I'll do is try to my best to find out when it is and then put it up on one of the YouTube videos so you guys find out when it is. But as you guys see here, getting Monreal, uh, putting him into a left wing back as he's a bit more expensive in that uh, position. So that's one of the things you can do, guys. Uh, I think in my journey series, I've actually showed you guys Ben Arthur and as, as a right forward. He's a very good example. But uh, here, guys, getting back to the consumable method, that is a very, very good method um, for maybe making around 20,000 coins just over the space of a week. Because uh, what you're doing is you don't need to have very high amount of coins. 5,000 coins, I'd say, is more than enough to do this method. So... As you guys can probably see now up on screen, uh, getting back to the mirror method, I just went and picked up a few Arsenal and Bayern Munich players as um, whichever ones were closest to the discard value, I said, you know, I'll pick them up and I feel that they're going to score. And as soon as uh, the Arsenal game started, uh, Giroud went and scored and that's when I straight away wanted to list my one up. His price didn't change very drastically. Uh, normally, the Bayern Munich players' prices always go up by 2 or 3k, but uh, this time they didn't score anything, so... Either way, I'm happy that Arsenal won, so that's a great thing. But as you can see, guys, listing up the Giroud's over there. And going to list up some of the other players as well, like Boateng. I don't feel... I, I can't remember if he played him. Just uh, escapes me right now, guys. But uh, for you guys who want to know about my hybrids and my... my What was it? The uh, Reasonable Squad Builder. I actually went and built a couple, which you guys will probably not even know the nationality. Just uh, completely out of uh, the common nationalities. So... Hopefully that will be out tomorrow. I'm trying to get. I'm gonna see if I can get three or four emblems out tomorrow. That's my goal for tomorrow. Hopefully, so there'll be one possibly in the morning, one in the afternoon, another one late afternoon, probably evening, and then the final one's gonna be in the night. So you guys can see four emblems, and I think one of them can be a nationality, and three of them can be clubs. Um, I've been getting requests from American subscribers for uh, NFL teams, so I will probably work on those after I finish clubs at the moment. So. I really want to get the football clubs out first, so I got a Southampton today. Um, I got one from the Saudi League, Saudi Arabian League. Um, Sounders, I think it was. Uh, so I've got quite a few guys coming up. So those will be coming out very soon. But uh, getting back to the trading guys, as you can see, uh, I'm showing you guys the why I bought them for and how much I'm listing them up for. And I've also got a couple Irish players which I went and bought on Wednesday. So off, uh, as soon as I released the last episode, I went and made sure I went and picked some up. But as you can see there, guys, our coins have increased. And I think that's Giroud, who's just uh, Olivia Giroud, who's just sold. So, just going to go through some of the items I picked up, so you guys can see that up on screen. I think I might use that center defensive mid to center mid card for my Luis Gustavo. So uh, he's in a perfect um, chemistry in my squad. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know who do you think I'm going to actually let this make this bit a bit more inter interactive. Let me know, guys, which player from the Bayern Munich team you should that you think I should go buy next. Um, whether it be Thomas Muller, um, Cruz. Uh, Schweinsteiger, Neuer, Lahm. Can't buy Robin or Ribery yet as I don't have enough coins, but I'm trying to get those guys complete because I'm thinking about in May doing a new series where I'm going to give away my whole Bayern Munich team because hopefully I'm complete by then. And uh, I'm going to be doing giveaways throughout the whole of May pretty much. Try to give you guys as much as you can as uh, I'm not going to be playing FIFA as much and that's probably because I'll be focusing on my journey series and then, you know, going to be busy. May is always a busy time of the year. And work and all that sort of stuff. So, as you guys see here, these are the players that have sold so far. And what I'm going to do is show you guys the Irish players that actually went and bought on Wednesday. And some of them you'll be thinking, you know, these are really good. And uh, some of them you'll be thinking, why didn't you go buy lots more? And the reason for that, guys, is I don't like owning the whole market for one player. So, just showing you guys, I bought a couple of them. Got Duff, O'Shea, and Keane. 
And uh, as you can see, guys, we're going to go for all the players I picked up. McGeady over there, however, is in a right mid. However, in, in a right wing, his uh, price goes up crazy. So I have a right mid to right wing card that I bought for, I think, 300 coins. So you guys will probably see me applying that to McGeady in a bit. And I'll go and show you guys how much he actually trains for. But this is a bit of live trading. This is actually, let me just check how long it is. I think it's almost five minutes live trading. Four minutes live trading. So yeah, it's quite a long time. But I'm just showing you guys all the prices of the players I picked up, as you can see here, the right mid to right wing, uh, 250 coins, and just show you guys McGeady now here, cheapest by now, 3,500, and as you can see there, there's three or four of them. Then I change it to right wing, and this is the interesting bit, guys. Look, 8,000 coins. This is during uh, Friday, I think it was. That's the cheapest one on the market, 8,000 coins, and the difference between that, 7,600. But the difference between the two prices is almost uh, 4,000 coins, 4,500 coins. So as you guys can see there, a massive difference in uh, the price. So that was probably one of the techniques. I didn't manage to pick up as many as I could have. I did tell, uh, one, if you guys have me on Xbox, I did tell one of my subscribers um, to actually go pick up a few McGeady's, and he did go pick up a couple of them, and he was listing them for 4K. So he was quite happy that he's made some coins. And I think we helped him to make 3, 000, uh, 30,000 coins in the space of uh, 12 hours. So that was not too bad. But if you guys have me on Xbox, you can add me uh, on my gamer tag, Supreme J. It's in my channel description. Um, and then that way you guys can also get trading tips, like just ask me what players to trade and all that stuff if I'm online. But as you can see now guys, what I'm doing is just showing you how much the players were at the point in time in the market, so when I'm listing them up. So you guys just get around about the an idea of how much uh, they were going for at the time. So I'll be going through all the formations and all the different uh, players, just so that we don't you know miss anything out. But uh, just showing you guys there, I think the player has sold straight away. This is a bit of live trading, so you can just imagine how quickly this is selling. Uh, Duff already sold, and uh, we're going to list up Given over here. O'Shea's been going up for, he went to around 3,000 coins. I'm not too sure on their prices now. I have been able to pick up a couple duns on my main account for 650 coins just today. And that is today is Saturday, so yeah. Uh, not too sure why their prices have gone down. But uh, maybe just list them up for around 1,900 or something like that and see if I can make a bit of a profit. Uh, not too fussed on that. But guys, for my hybrid series, uh, yeah, let me know when do you guys want the next episode for that. Do you want it out on the Monday or do you want it out on midweek? Or I'm just trying to think because I'm trying to get more of my emblems out on the weekends. That way I can get f three or four of them out and try to get one on Tuesday on, at, or Thursday, depending on how busy I am. I'm just very busy at the moment, so that's why I've got very little time to get uh, uploads out and then get commentary done on them. But uh, whatever I'm trying to do, guys, I'm trying to get out as quickly as can. Uh, the journey series, I'm trying to think I'm going to schedule that for Monday. Depend on how it goes. But as you can see that guy's done. Listing for 3,000 coins more. And it's just incredible, guys. As you can see, McGeady is sold over there. Just uh, making that profit very quickly. And if you think about it, guys, we're on 50-something thousand coins or 47,000 coins. So uh, to be able to come up to 63, no, 63,000 coins, wow. And uh, let's see how this goes. It's looking quite good so far. And we're going to list up Keen over here. He's not been that much of a price. If I was recommending one player to you guys to um, buy for next year, definitely probably be Shane Long and McGeady because he went up the most and then just change his position because that's the best thing to do but uh, I think I'm going to speed it up guys here now because uh, as you can see it's 65,000 coins now 71,000 coins but this is one of the players I found from West Ham the right back someone actually tried price locking him at 5,000 coins look at that 6,000 coins 4,500 and I picked up my one for where is he gone just showing you guys a couple of players that sold uh, 250 coins which is not too bad let's see if I can make actually 4,000 coins on him uh, do I list him for 3,000 coins? 3,300 with a 3,006. I could have probably sold him on for 4,000. Bit of a mistake, but uh, wasn't too greedy for the profits there, guys. And uh, another player over here for Bournemouth. And uh, just looking for his price. And as you can see there, guys, he's got 84 pace. So that's probably one of the main reasons that he probably goes so high. So uh, as you can see, more players have sold 76,000 coins now. And uh, it's just it's just the profit making for St. Patrick's Day has just been absolutely amazing. If I had more players, I would have probably made a lot more profit. But uh, I'm not too fussed on that as I'm sure if I had probably uh, went and invested into lots more, I would have probably completed the series in this episode. So it would not have been too fun uh, completing the Bayern Munich team in three episodes. But... Uh, We'll see how it goes, guys, but we'll keep going on. As you can see, guys, went and tried to see if I can put bids on a few more like, uh, a few more Irish players. But uh, by the looks of it, guys, we're at 99,000 coins. We pick up an O'Shea over here. And uh, I think I picked him up for 2,000 coins. I'm not too sure how much I picked him up. Just checking the cheapest buy now. That's, dame. That's done. Going to go down to Sunderland and check out um, yeah, O'Shea over there for 3,400. So I picked up my own for 2,400. Just listing him up. I want to hit that 100,000 coin mark today. And that will be a... Bit of good trading, making almost 
50 to 60k profit in one episode is just uh, crazy. So as you guys see there, that is the cheapest one. And finally, we have hit that 100k marker. So hopefully you guys uh, did enjoy this episode and we've made quite a lot of profit. You, I'll probably go through all the players' prices now so you guys can just check that out and see how much I sold them on for. But uh, hopefully you guys have made some profit. Let me know if you've made um, some massive profits. I do know some YouTubers have made almost 4 million coins just off doing this. So... Hopefully there's more tournaments and uh, more cups out there uh, to help us with making some more coins. But uh, yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, I'll bring out my journey to the Ultimate Team very soon, as well as some Black Ops 2 Emblems tomorrow. But this has been ABJV Gaming, and I'll catch you guys for the next episode.